So we shot up to Cape Coral today to meet up with Everglades as they had a dealer meeting up here and we actually took advantage of the situation because we have yet to see trial any Everglades, period, and we get to break the ice here with the flagship model, the 455. So let's take a look around, see how she performs, and we hope you guys enjoy. Sean and Kathy from Everglades Boats and we, we jumped on the 455 and me, immediately got into talking and Sean got into a very interesting story that he took with hole number one and we figured it'd make sense to share with you guys. So Sean, if you don't mind, tell us tell us what that was all about. Sure, sure. We um, we wanted to introduce the boat the right, the right way and we also wanted to test it at the same time. So we came up with a plan of actually visiting all of our dealers from the Panhandle of Florida all the way up to, to Boston. And uh, so over the course of almost two months, I took the boat on a 5,200 mile journey, <laughs> a little over 300 hours. That's um, I lived in the console for, for two months and we were able to visit all of our, all of our dealers uh, up and down the eastern seaboard here. Uh, we got to meet a lot of people and get people on the boat that hadn't been on them before. We figured instead of doing a boat show with it, we're all over the country, we could do it all in, in that, that, that time period right in the waters that they're running the boat in. And, it, and uh, from a standpoint of being able to test the boat, we were able to improve hull number two considerably just by what we learned on, on, on a trip like that. Yeah, no yeah. better way to do it than to put it through the paces like that. And yeah. how many miles? 5,000? 5, 5,200 miles when I was That's done. That's unbelievable. I got so. to Boston and then turned around and finished in uh, Cape, uh, Cape May or Stone Harbor, New Jersey, actually, is where I finished the trip. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on top of being a, you know an incredible R&D uh, mission, that's quite the experience to say you have under your belt as well. It, so. it was amazing. It, it was cool. an amazing opportunity. I may never get another one like that, but <laughs> yeah. it was uh, it was something else. And I had a, an amazing boat that you know I was offshore alone a lot. You know, a couple, you know, sometimes a couple hundred miles, and it was uh, I felt confident all the time. You know, yeah. I, 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 and it was a, it was a great boat to have underneath me. Okay, sure. cool. Well, yeah. Thank you very much for sharing. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start off at the bow just. The sun's hitting this way, so let's go ahead and do that. They haven't really walked us around the boat, so we're gonna kind of look around, see what we find, and I'm gonna call them out as we as we see it. Let's start back actually where we were at here. Notice this right here. This looks to be uh, an inductive charger for your phone. Basically, just lay the phone down there, charges it automatically. You've got cup holders, obviously a nice recliner here for a lounger, vertical rod storage. You got the combos with cup holders here. JL Audio M6 speakers throughout this boat. You see the up and down table button, so you can actually get this dining table and drop it all the way flush with the deck. And actually something cool that I remember from the first time we saw is that you can grab these, push this thing forward, and actually converts into a casting deck. So you can drop that down, it actually pins in place, jump up to throw your anchor, or actually cast or jump off the boat onto a dock. And you can drop it back uh, in place there and you're good to go. Either create a sunbed, uh, dining situation, or tuck it away where you don't see it. So you have coolers underneath that are insulated, both port and starboard. Underneath, underneath this forward seating, looks like release marine accents here with the backrest. You have a box underneath my feet here, which I'll pop open. All of these are insulated from what I understand, what, I, what I'm looking at. So good sized box up here. Close that off. We also seem to have a, yep, insulated cooler space up here in the front section of this lounger. And a nice open area here. Obviously you got your anchor locker. We'll pop this open. You got your windlass. Nice, comfortable and clean setup here to be able to work your anchor. You can see they put a really good sized window in the cabin letting in a lot of natural light, which is great. They really utilize all this space underneath the gunnels as storage for dock lines, flip-flops, towels, anything you would like to just throw out of the way. You can see there's multiple of these working our way down. They got the, the ladder tucked away here, which they have the same thing on the other side for the whole side door. So you keep it out of the way. Nobody gets hurt with that thing bouncing around. 
and really utilizes every square inch of the boat. So one thing we always like to see is how different companies do their console door. As you can see, Everglades builds a real thick custom door, custom hinge as well, and you can see this thing is super smooth. You can move it just with one finger. Slides open, clicks in place right there, stays out of the way, and doesn't move until you drop that pin down right there. Then again, you can easily slide this right back in place, lock it, and you even have a deadbolt there for security. So as we're so used to seeing, they got JL Audio M6 speakers throughout this boat, and there's a ton of them. Adding to the storage space, you got rod holder storage underneath the gunnels here. Let me go ahead and pop open one of the boxes, all insulated. You can see great finishes underneath, gasketed. Gas shocks make it real easy to open and close. Close that up. Then we'll open some of these compartments. You got trash right here. Open this up. Tackle storage for your Plano boxes, a drawer underneath, and this thing is duplicated over on the starboard side of the boat. Let's take a look at this rear facing bench seat and everything going on here. Obviously it's very comfortable, climate controlled. You can see the air vents all the way throughout underneath. Pop this open and you got an insulated cooler with a Dometic freezer plate right there. You have a step here that drops down for a little additional comfort. And then you even have, with a push of a button, a shade extension to cover this entire cockpit area and make it extremely comfortable if you're hanging out but just don't want to take that much sun. Let's pop into the bilge a moment to take a look around here. As you can see, you have an excellent amount of space right here. You have a Sea Keeper 6 up front and you have a 15KW Fisher Panda behind that. Plenty of room to jump in there, do all your maintenance, get to your valves, your pumps, anything you need to work on. So along the transom, as you can see, if you're doing any fishing, you got a nice pad here. You got a toe kick to be able to get your feet underneath. But underneath all this, as you can probably see, this transforms into a full beam bench. You got a 13-3 beam on this boat, so it really does not get more comfortable than this if you have a large group going out there with you. So this 455 is outfitted with quad Yamaha 425 XTOs. It pushes this boat about 60 miles per hour, and you're pretty much doing 0 .5, 0 0.6 miles per gallon at any point. This boat is not meant to be a speed demon. It's meant to be a solid ride, and that's why the big sport fish guys move down to a center console similar to the 455 Everglades, just like this. So one of the unique things about the 455 is the digital switching system that we developed with Garmin. We have the most sophisticated system that Garmin has ever done on a boat smaller than 60 feet. Across the helm here we have three 22 inch screens. I have two 16 inch screens behind me for the people in the second row and in the cockpit. And then we have another 16 inch screen up on the tower. Here is an example of, our, of the page opened up to the digital switching page. I love it, it's very user friendly. I can control pretty much every system on the boat from here. If I, let's say if I go into the lights here, if I want to turn on all my spreader lights, boom, I can hit them on right there and they all come on at once and there's dimmers on them to keep them, you know, keep it from blinding out the neighbors. You can trim the, uh, bring one side down or bring them lighter. It also shows where the lights are on. So if I turn on lights, different lights, it'll tell me on the boat. I like it on here on the, on the helm page. If I put on the fresh water pump, it shows me it's on and it's also showing me the location of the pump in the boat. So it makes it easier if you have to go find, if you have a problem, you can go seek it out. These, uh, this system also has about five levels of redundancy. There are membrane switches all, um, uh, up above you, so that if you didn't want to use the switches here, you could use actual uh, switches that are, um, are separate and, and, and quick to get to. This boat is a Yamaha boat, and we have the, the joystick controls here. We do standard on this boat, the zip wake trim control system. It's actually, you can set those to auto, and, and the boat will trim itself. Along the top here, we got, again, here's some of our membrane switches, and then we got our controller, for our Sea Keeper. Sea Keeper 6 is standard on the boat, and we also, our power plant is a, is a 5KW Fisher Panda generator, and we can uh, monitor that from here. If, it, if she's running, we'll have, we'll have access to the light here to make sure that she's still actually 
actually running. Also at the helm here, we have the Edson carbon fiber steering wheel standard. And look at this Teak. The Teak is standard. And in here, which is really cool, we have inductive chargers for your cell phone. So just lay it down in there and she'll start charging for you. Cup holders that are plumbed, so you don't have, they don't hold water, they'll drain to the deck. And that's, that's something that we do throughout the entire boat on, on rod holders and cup holders. So let's take a look at this helm area right here. You have a huge oversized hardtop, as you can see. There's actually a grab rail all along this for you to be able to hold on. You got six release marine helm chairs here. These things actually can rotate if you'd like. Have a conversation with those behind you. These seats are also shock absorbing seats. Sean, if you mind pushing down on that for a second to kind of show that. How cool is that right there? So this area, if you walk over here, Jason, is completely climate controlled. There's AC vents throughout. So incredibly comfortable, even though you're in open air. We actually have two Garmin 16 inch MFDs right back here so you're always in the game seeing what's going on and you can actually fit 27 people with their own individual seat on this 455 Everglades which is absolutely incredible. So lastly, let's check up, check out the second station. There's a lot of cool features up there so we're going to go take a look. So we're up here on the second station. As you can see, you have an Edson EC3 carbon fiber steering wheel, another 16 inch Garmin MFD. You have zip wakes on this boat which is a very cool trim tab system that we're definitely gonna get more into very soon. You got your Yamaha Command Link Plus right here, joystick, VHF, pretty much everything you need with additional storage, cup holders, and you're gonna see your Garmin Open Array radar spinning around up front. Lastly, what this thing does, which is incredibly cool and unique, is that this second station breaks down. So if you are in a dry rack storage or need to store this boat somewhere where the height doesn't work, where it's set right here with two, maybe three individuals. You can actually split this up, drop it down, and it'll bring you back to standard height to your hardtop. Really nice boat, 455. Thanks to everyone for having us out here. We really enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Any questions you have, drop them in the comments. We'll answer those as well. And we'll have much more coming for you here at Center Consoles Only.